Hi there. Welcome to LSB Feasters Radio Channel, where what we do here is keep great radio from the past alive. And today we're featuring a legendary radio and television personality, Bob Surratt. Bob actually started on the radio back in the early 70s as a weekender and fill-in guy at WBBM FM. And then... He had the opportunity of a lifetime getting a job at 89 WLS. And he was there from the early 70s right up to 1979. Uh, he was great on WLS. Lots of personality. He was quirky. He was great. Uh, and then he decided to take his talents to TV. He went to work on WBBM TV for a while. And after about five years there, he landed a job at CBS Television and was seen nationwide on the TV show West 57th Street. Then he came back to Chicago, was doing local TV at WMAQ and did a few other things. But eventually, he came back to his first love, radio, and was working for a while middays at WGN. And then in 2019, Surratt landed the morning show at 720 WGN. And he did a great job on that morning show. Hey, if you like what you hear, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever we post anything new. All right, let's go back with Bob Surratt on 89 WLS. Playing KC. The Sox are one game out. KC is a half a game out. And tomorrow, Bob, but this time I'll be reporting to you from Louisville. I'm going to go down and see if Seattle Slough is for real. Do me a favor. Don't call collect this time. The boss is getting uh, very aggravated about that. Well, I'm going to have Seattle Slough call you. Uh, they, well, Seattle Slough's got the money. <laughs> well, happy third birthday to, uh, to who? To all the guys here at WLS. We're three years old today. Do you realize that? Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to you, happy birthday Leonard Goldenson, you think chairman of ABC, happy birthday to all the jerky bosses. And now, 14 years after his last show here... Hi, this is Dick Biondi from North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. My goodness, today is May 2nd, and 17 years ago today, I was fortunate enough to be on the air over on West Washington Boulevard when WLS first went on the air with pop music. I want to say hello to everybody in Chicago, and congratulations to WLS. Music Radio WLS Chicago. Bob Surratt at 501. We've worked our way to 1974. And Terry Jacks. Like the seasons have all gone. All our lives we have fun. We have seasons in the most music. WLS. We continue now with our special guest team disc jockey this afternoon, Art Roberts. Oh, thank you. If you can speak English as well as Bob, you can teach English to foreign adults. Call 463-0055 for information about the next tutor training workshop. We hope they can speak better than that, though. Uh, yes. Olivia Newton-John from WLS. WLS with Bob Surratt celebrating 17 years of rock in the Windy City with the music and jingles of the past 17 years. And you caught us uh, here at 1974. And a big hello goes out to you guys and gals. Oh, wait a minute. This is 1974. When did you guys stop doing that, Art Roberts? 1973. <laughs> Thanks for saving me. <laughs> <laughs> WLS Music Radio with 15 Harley Davidsons to give away. So just stop by Illinois Harley Davidson in Oak Park, fill out an official Hi Yo Harley entry blank, and it could win you a new Harley Davidson motorcycle and you'll enjoy the traffic jam better on one of those. And we'll continue with our BYOB party momentarily. That's spring your own Bobby socks, right? Pardon me, sir. I want to tell you about something new and exciting. Go ahead. But you got to promise you won't laugh. I promise. You sure? And lots of people laugh when I tell them. Hey, I'm not going to laugh. Good. I want to tell you about a great new soup. New super soup. So that's funny. New Super Soup is made with crispy, fresh vegetables and hearty pieces of steer beef or generous amounts of clams. And there are eight different kinds. You think that's funny? you got a weird sense of humor. Mm-hmm. And would you believe that New Super Soup is found only at Dunkin' Donuts? Dunkin' Donuts? Soup? <laughs> hey, does it have a hole in it? <laughs> or can you dunk it? <laughs> and right now, you can get your favorite Dunkin' Donut, coffee, bread, butter, and a hearty bowl of new home-style Super Soup with free refill 
for just 99 cents at participating Dunkin' Donut shops. Here, try some. Hey, it's crunchy and fresh. It's really great. What do you think? All that for 99 cents? There's nothing to laugh about. New Super Soup, only at Dunkin' Donuts. Americans are on the move, going everywhere. And Michelin's a tire, and that's gonna take them there. Michelin first, Michelin first, for all the time your money can buy. No matter what size car you drive, you can afford Michelin radios. That's something you may not realize. You probably expect to pay more for Michelins when you could end up paying less. So for long tire life and real tire value at a price you can afford, think Michelin first. Join the move to Michelin. Look for them at your Michelin dealer where you see Viv the Michelin Man. Buy a set for your car and get all the tire your money can buy. Michelin first. Sidetrack hits Chicago streets Thursday, bringing daily news readers regular coverage of irregular events. Editor Apec and Steve Wonder discuss Stevie's friends, his music, and where it's taken him. Jack Haffercamp delivers a sort of consumer guide to living together. Plus, there's sanding Sidetrack features like the real puzzle and where to go calendar, free city directory, and the original Halstead Street comic strip. Sidetrack starting Thursday in the Daily News. The good life guide. All right, Robert, your guest team disc jockey looking out the window. Partly sunny this afternoon. It'll be partly cloudy and cooler tonight and partly sunny tomorrow with a chance of some showers later on. Low tonight, 47, officially 54 degrees. Hi, this is Chris Eric Stevens from Los Angeles, California, where the sun is shining brightly here in Hollywood. And I'd like to tell you that uh, it's very nice to be part of the class of uh, 69, 70, and 71 at WLS. And I am now the president of Christian Enterprises Incorporated. Are you impressed? <laughs> Which is my own company. And that's kind of nice. And also working in radio in California. I'd like to take a second or so to say congratulations to WLS on their 17th anniversary of Rock. WLS. Celebrating 17 years of rock in Chicago today. And starting soon, John Landecker and Steve King play Chart the Stars. Pick up your official game card now at any Chicagoland Burger King. It is 521. The BS Love Counselor has relinquished his time today so we could visit with Art Roberts on this very historic date. Oh, Bob, how long have you been at WLS? Four years now, uh -huh. just about. Okay. I'm going for the record. I've, I've heard, yes, I've heard you wanted to top my record of 10 years, so I thought I'd give you the secret. All right, lay it on me, Hart. Use the service elevator. <laughs> See, I, I used to come in the service elevator and leave by the service elevator. In the last seven of those ten years, nobody even knew I was around. That's Ah, uh, was that it? That's well, the secret. Um, the way my brain is after four years, I don't know if I can go six more, but I'll remember that. And starting tomorrow, I will certainly uh, certainly use your advice. Now, we surprised, uh, we surprised you this afternoon with Art Roberts. Now, Art, we got a little surprise for you. Uh, you were around the station when there was a big feud here on the air, weren't you? There were a lot of feuds. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mean that one. Oh, I mean... <laughs> oh. oh, yes, yes, I know the one you mean. Yeah. And we have a very, uh, very vintage uh, piece of tape. As a matter of fact, kind of a modern version of uh, the disc jockey feud of the 60s, right after these announcements. You going out with Harold? Mm-hmm. Want me to help you get ready? Okay. Here's your comb and your gum. Does Harold like dentine, too? Mm-hmm. Boy, what's the matter with my gum? Well, those sweet gums are fine for a kid's taste, but I prefer dentine. It has a snappy, tingly flavor. 
What's more, dentine makes your mouth taste clean, not sweet. Big deal. It will be when you're a little older. Hi, Harold. Dentine makes your mouth taste clean, not sweet. Welcome back to the restaurant. Sit back, relax. At International House of Pancakes. You dine on China, not from paper stacks. The food's delicious and the service is great. So from us at International House of It's spring, especially for you at North Riverside Park. Spring's an exciting time. Kites and sounds of laughter fill the air. Spring's also the time when you pull out the warm weather clothes and painfully discover winter has taken a toll on your waistline. You'll be needing some new things to wear. Why not buy golf slacks, tennis shorts, and gardening gloves? You'll be ready to shape up, take some winter off your waistline, and enjoy the warmer days ahead. It's spring, especially for you at North Riverside Park. Cermak, west of Harlem. Was that garbage can, uh, this one, that one right there, was that That's, the one that was here when yeah, you were that, here? Exactly. That's the same garbage, you know. There's pizza in here. What is that from? Pizza that, in that in the men's room were the two <laughs> things I recognized when I came in the station because the sink was in the same place in the men's room. <laughs> we, we have, uh, as you've heard uh, this afternoon, uh, we've heard from many of the guys who worked at uh, WLS. Uh, people called in, and Clark Weber was nice enough uh, a couple of days ago to drop by the station and record a line for us. And while he was here, Art, we, uh, we thought it would be most appropriate to call Ron Riley and not only have Ron record a message, but we put Clark on the phone with Ron. Now, Ron didn't know what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. And you can uh, imagine how he felt when all of a sudden he heard this voice. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in keeping with the nostalgia, as we take you back into the 60s here on WLS, we give you a man who is a legend in his own mind, Ron Riley. <laughs> Hello, Ringo Ron. Hello, Oh, it's a pleasure to hear you once again. Why? Well, that's... It's a pleasure to hear me. That's true, but they gave me 30 bucks and eight free albums and said if I came up here on the air that I could honestly talk to a man who was at one time was a biggie. Well, somebody told me that you got your hair back. That is true. I did, yes. You cut it out from under your arms? Well, no. As a matter of fact, I'm just combing my eyebrows back now. You told me you're doing a talk show. You ought to be good at that. I certainly should. Ron, I, in view of the fact that this is such a nostalgia, Today. I thought perhaps for just a brief moment you and I could talk about the days when, when we did record hops. And remember, before we do the hops, you'd go down to 35th and Shields to get your TV makeup put on by Earl Scheib. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, and it's the only Earl Scheib paint job that lasts. That's true. Listen, to what are you doing for a living today now? Well, uh, having a good time out the East Coast, uh, program directing the radio station and playing rock and roll and uh, doing a television show every night. And, uh, That's marvelous. Kind of enjoying it, man. Good. Well, when Bob Surratt called me and asked me what you were doing, I said, I was thankful for WLS for any one of a number of reasons, for helping me to put four daughters through college and for making you what you are today, a dirty old man. Well, Clark, I learned that from you. I remember you were the original flasher in Grand Park. That's, that is so true. Still wearing the same old greasy raincoat. That's true. It's transparent. Now, Ron, I want to wish you the best of luck, and I'm sure that the voice of uh, yours truly and, uh, and yours, of course, brings back a few memories. I know it was a lot of fun. I, it really was. We had a a lot of laughs and a lot of good times, and I know these uh, guys at WLS are uh, keeping up the tradition of great entertainment. Well, and while I should not do this as Emperor Weber of the Weber Commandos, I suppose I should give you an opportunity to say something bad about Weber. <laughs> Weber, I've been thinking so many bad thoughts about you all these years, it would take a half hour of Bob Surratt's program to let everybody know about him. Stay out of the trees, Ringo Ron. Yeah, we're going to blow this pop stand. The best music, Oh, here's one of my favorite songs, Bob. No, no Art, I love it. No, no I really, I, I'd much, I'd much prefer 1975. Inspired Elton John, that song. <laughs> the best music, WLS. 5.30 as we head home, and uh, your old friend Art Roberts with us at WLS. How is it to be uh, back here? Terrific.
<laughs> Reminds me of the old days now. <laughs> 54 degrees in Chicago. High tomorrow, 65. Chance of showers late. Hello, this is Charlie Van Dyke of the WLS Alumni Class of 1972 with best wishes and happy anniversary on the special Bob Surratt Show. You mean they still have you around, huh, Bob? Music Radio, WLS. She keeps them away asunder in a pretty cabinet. Oh, Bob, it really is fun being a guest teen disc jockey. I can't tell you how much I'm really enjoying this. Tryout's going well so far. Don't tell me how much, by the way. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, WLS Music Radio is... We're, we're, we're all week long. Larry Lujak will be giving away the perfect Mother's Day gift. And this is really, I think, phenomenal because it's the first thing Larry Lujak has ever given away in his whole life. <laughs> he still wears the same pair of blue jeans his mother bought for him in high school. <laughs> And he'll be giving away $100 worth of fine jewelry from Rogers Jewelers, so be listening for your chance to win. I should have called uh, Larry when we were tracking down all you guys here for the anniversary show. Uh, I'm glad you didn't, but that's all right. <laughs> Our long-distance phone bill is going right. uh, up. Look at this AMP warehouse. It's fantastic. Red, firm tomatoes to the right of us. And sweet, juicy oranges to the left of us. And fresh, crisp produce all around us. Price, tell the people how we get fruits and vegetables we are proud of. There's only one way. We go where they grow. That's also how we pick these great prices. Actually, I was uh, better dressed than Lou Jack Saturday in the mummy suit, uh, if you want to know. Shop the friendly A&P produce department nearest you and save on delicious fresh Chiquita bananas. Well, those bandages were very fashionable. Five pounds for only a dollar through Saturday at all Chicagoland A&P stores. If you can't fly continental, you might as well not fly. If you can't fly continental, we'll miss you in the sky. If you can't fly continental, who will treat you the way we do? If you can't fly continental, who's gonna move the chair for you? If you can't fly continental, you'll miss the kind of fly-drive vacations that we're famous for. Get accommodations in a car in California from just $16.43 a day, or in Colorado from $20.07 a day. You'll also miss our wide-body DC-10s with the only coach pub in the sky. If you can't fly Continental, the West might not be the same. If you can't fly Continental, who's gonna move the for you? Continental's Fly Drive Vacations to the West. Price per person, double occupancy, airfare additional. For details, call your travel agent or Continental. Coach Pub on DC-10s, excluding Hawaii through service. WLS. If I can build a bridge from a chunk of steel, I can build my tomorrows on the hope I feel. If I can build a house from a piece of wood, I can build my future strong and good. future depends on what you can do. For that you need training and experience. The Army's one place to get it. You can learn any of over 200 different skills in the Army depending on your qualifications. Everything from carpentry to computer work to building bridges. Join the people who join the Army. For more information about skill training in the Army, call 800-431-1976. Toll free. The best music And I want to wish the Big 89 another 17, maybe 50 more years of good luck. I remember when I was there, we used to have good times with Bob in the afternoon. As a matter of fact, uh, in the summertime, we'd discuss what his uncle used to do on a hot July day. Ah, yes. Put your shoes in the refrigerator for the summer. That's it. Bye-bye. Did you ever do that, Art? That, well, I have an uncle who really used to do that. No, but he sounds great for an old man, though. <laughs> Doesn't he, really? My congratulations. There's another old man on our uh, birthday celebration. Howard Cosell will be here speaking of sports in about 10 minutes. And uh, earlier in the afternoon, we were playing a lot of the music from uh, the roots of WLS, uh, May mm -hmm. 2nd, 1960, and a lot of the old jingles, too. We have one left over, Art. Do you remember... Wait. Try your hand at this one. Now. I know you haven't heard this in a long time. Temperature. It's at 54 degrees. It's good so far. Time. 
It is uh, 5.48. Amazing. That's the time. Did that <laughs> just like that. <laughs> I don't believe these jingles. WLS. Uh, that's amazing. No <laughs> crib sheet, no pony. Nothing. No <laughs> clock. You know, I just knew it right off the bat. No jingle. WLS giving away the cycle that won the West. That sure is a strange looking horse he's riding, ain't it? That ain't no horse saddle breath. That's a Harley Davidson motorcycle, a real thoroughbred. You mean to tell me he gave up his horse for that? Yep. Better than a horse. And with the price of oats these days, it's cheaper to run. Been a lot faster. Tell me then, partner, how much he pay for that there round footed pony? Why, nothing. He got it just by listening to WLS on the radio. They're giving away a whole corral full of Harley Davidsons, 125s, 175s, 250, and they're all yours just for the saying. Saying what? Saying WLS Music Radio is your favorite radio station if they call you. And you can get them to call just by sending a postcard to Hi-Yo Harley, Post Office Box 11089, Chicago. Or stop by a participating Harley Davidson dealer and fill out an official entry. That's all there is to win it? Yep. Say WLS is your favorite radio station. And you could be saying, hi oh Harley, away! You should get in touch with Winning Moments, the Illinois State Lottery's aptly named Instant Game. It could put thousands of dollars at your fingertips. You could win up to $10,000 on the spot. It only took a moment for Alberta Miles of St. Anne to scratch out a $10,000 prize. So did Diane Bacon of Wonder Lake, Ralph Brooks of Calumet City, Norbert Pollack of Summit, Susan Stefanides of Houston Street here in Chicago, and Donald Hines of Schaumburg. They all won $10,000. And you could let your fingers do the talking too. Winning Moments has paid off more than a million winners so far. And thousands of people are winning every day. Tickets are on sale now. Try turning your scratch into our scratch. People get big appetites in the wee hours, so Denny's now prepares late-night features, like a three-egg omelet topped with bay shrimp and a tangy cheese rarebit sauce. Now that's a happy idea. We got happy places, smarter faces. Welcome to Denny's. We're looking good, and we cooking good. And Welcome to Denny's. Denny's late night features change every night. New York steak and eggs, chili omelet, eggs with pepperoni, or our colossal Yankee doodle omelet. So whatever the hour, welcome to Denny's. We got happy places, smiling faces. Welcome to Denny's. We're looking good and cooking good. And welcome to Denny's. There's an always open Denny's in Westmont at 300 East Ogden Avenue and another in Franklin Park, 2447 Mannheim Road. We Bolts, the store with more, more quality, more famous brands, more value, more selection, exciting savings like these. Famous American tourist or luggage, now 25 to 60% off. Famous for its rugged durability and fashion styling with extra roominess for packing ease. One color for men, two for women. Train case regularly, $55 now through May 16th, only $26.99. Hurry while quantities last. Three ways to charge now. We Bolts own card, Bank America card, and Master Charge. And uh, that about wraps up our little reunion here. And uh, Art Roberts, we're certainly in debt to you for uh, sharing some of these memories with us this afternoon here at WLS. Well, Bob, I really enjoyed it. I'm very glad it's over now because I heard they shut down the service elevator at 6 <laughs> o'clock and I want to be able you to catch it. You were serious about that. I only hope that uh, um, some of the people who are with us today at WLS will uh, have uh, memories as fond of us today as we do of you guys. And growing up in Chicago, part of a very happy growing up period here for a lot of us, uh, people like Art Roberts and Dick Biondi and uh, the whole crew here at WLS. Well, thank you. I tell you, I feel so confident about your work, Bob, that I'll see you in another eight years. It'll be your 25th anniversary, and I'll be able to be uh, I was wondering. We'll, no, somebody will be calling me by then. I'll be in uh, Fleabag, Illinois, possibly by then. We ought to close, though, the way you close so many uh, nights and days here at WLS. Do you remember that? <laughs> uh, the uh, oh, the yeah. way you close your shows. Sure, this has been a work of art. Excelsior. To you too. <laughs> That's all, folks. Opa. Here's to us. May we have 17 more. John Recordings Landecker takes us back into 1977 next. And we'll see you tomorrow. 
This is another WLS News. That long-awaited program to be revitalized, the South Loop came one step closer today as Acting Mayor Michael Bolandic announced groundbreaking for one phase, which will begin this summer. The first phase of Chicago 21 is now a reality. And one of the significant things is that it's being financed completely by private funds. We'll have the cooperation of the local government and we'll have the cooperation, I'm sure, of the members of the City Council and of the Plan Commission. The first phase calls for the construction of 3,000 housing units, schools, parks, and recreational facilities on a 51-acre site just south of the Loop. That land is currently occupied by abandoned railroad facilities. The director of Cermak Memorial Hospital has resigned. Dr. Lambert King steps aside because of what he calls unwarranted harassment by the head of the County Health and Hospitals Governing Commission, Dr. James Houghton. Dr. King's resignation from the hospital, which treats inmates from Cook County Jail, is effective today. President Carter disclosed his proposals for, wealth, for uh, welfare reform, and he also admits that the current system is worse than he thought, and he says it should be junked. That eight-day oil well blowout in the North Sea could cost Norway $60 million in lost revenues. A $5 million damage suit was filed today in Chicago Circuit Court. The suit was filed by a lawyer for the family of Alan Metz, the attorney who, with his wife and two other persons, was killed in the crash of an airplane in Lake Michigan off Miggs Field April 23rd. The will of the late Chicago Cub owner was filed today. Nearly half of the $70 million estate of Philip Wrigley, plus all the shares of the baseball team, will go to Wrigley's widow. Stock in the Santa Catalina Island Company was willed to the University of Southern California. With the rejection of the latest offer today, the builders, some of 1,500 carpenters, have walked off their jobs in central Illinois. Construction projects worth millions of dollars are in jeopardy. Earlier selling eased off and the market closed higher on Wall Street. The Dow Industrials were up 4.32. Shares traded nearly 18 million. Traffic shows signs of recovering at this hour. The outbound Kennedy slow at Foster and from Canfield to Cumberland. Inbound slows down at Belmont. And the Edens is slow from Wilson to Tui. WLS weather, partly cloudy and cooler tonight. The low tonight, 50. High tomorrow, 65. The WLS temperature now, 52 degrees. That's the Chicago Report. This is Bud Miller. Hello again, everyone. This is Howard Cosell speaking of sports. Something is happening in connection with sports in New York City that is both interesting and at the same time must be dealt with maturely. I refer to the case of Lenny Randall, the second baseman, a versatile ball player, can also play the outfield, indeed can play anywhere. But the second baseman recently acquired by the New York Mets from the Texas Rangers. You remember the story of Lenny Randall. His manager, Frank Lucchese, had presumably, although this is hearsay, called him a punk, or words to that effect, and it grated upon Randall, first, that Lucchese had called him a punk, and second, that Randall had lost his second base job to the son of Maury Wells. And so one day in an outburst witnessed by many people, Randall beset Lucchese on the playing field, punching him again and again and again. Randall in his 20s, Lucchese about 50. Net result, broken cheekbone. Lucchese had to be rushed to the hospital, concussion. And indeed, there is apparently a major lawsuit forthcoming by Lucchese against Randall. And indeed, Randall must still face charges for aggravated battery in Orlando, Florida. Now, one thing to make clear immediately. Randall should not be punished for the rest of his life. He is entitled to due process.